Really, it's uh, diversity and dynamics, and really, if you look at it, it's diversity. Uh, number one is the committee. You want to get uh, a group of people that are uh, have different uh, backgrounds, and also when you want to look at the program, all right, you want to be able to adjust your program to number one, the location where PitCon will be, and number two is what what seems to be hot in the as far as in the industry. And you want to tailor your conference to that, and I think that's the, really the secret to success. One of the things is, uh, number one, PitCon is in a new city. The challenges are, are, are there because uh, you have nothing to fall back on. Uh, the thing I liked was I was writing my own script. So maybe it was a challenge in a way, but it was a good thing because uh, I like to sort of set my own pathway. And, and not to be compared with anyone, but uh, it was a, a unique challenge and I thought it was the right thing to do to put PitCon in the backyard of the industry which we are uh, trying to attract here at this conference. Like anything, you have to be able to willing to change, to look at the, at the current climate uh, in, in PitCon's situation. Philadelphia is a prime example of change for us. You know, we, we uh, sort of got away from our normal rotation of cities. We went into an area with a, a smaller expo floor, and, uh, but the, uh, the positives here at Philadelphia definitely overwhelmed the, the negatives. And uh, this, these are the kind of things you have to look for. You can't be uh, complacent. Uh, if you look at a lot of uh, companies or whatever that, that fail, a lot of times the reason is because they were complacent. They, they weren't willing to change. And uh, you know, we realized that, the committee realized that, and our exhibitors and conferee also. And a lot of times they give us good advice. And uh, going to Philadelphia is one that we listened to our exhibitors. They said they want to be in the Northeast. The biggest are, and if you look out in our expo floor. A lot of this instrumentation you see here was probably back when I was in the laboratory a long time ago, it was probably three, four, five, ten times as large. Uh, computers have helped everything uh, over the years to speed things up, to help make ease of operation. Uh, you no longer need someone with technique. Uh, knowledge is always important, but a lot of the uh, the optimizations and, and whatnot that were done, uh, set up times are gone. The computer does everything for you. you just type in what you want to look for. Um, uh, a lot of this methodology has been around for a long time, but we found ways to make them smaller, make them cheaper, make them better. Uh, the, the industry requires us, and we all know it with, uh, as far as food science, uh, as far as regulations, everything's always, we want to get lower, we want to get those detection limits lower, we want to look at things lower, uh, you know, with, with uh, carcinogens and, and whatnot for health effects, the government's always setting regulations that are lower. In order to get to there, we have to get, supply the instrumentation to, to, uh, to give us those uh, numbers that they want. Well, that's a million dollar question. Uh, I think what you look at now, I, I think we pretty much have a lot of the techniques that we need. It's the refinement process. Um, I don't see anything earth shattering in the near future, but what I do see is techniques that were maybe cost prohibitive uh, or areas of science that we thought we couldn't get a low enough detection limit. I think with with the refinement of a lot of these techniques, I think you're going to see a lot of exciting things happening. Well, the future for PitCon is very exciting. Uh, one of the things, you know, PitCon, which is a diverse uh, committee, and uh, we're willing to listen to, to the uh, opinions of our conferee, our exhibitors, there's also the excitement of having a conference within a conference. This year we have Food Labs conference. 
uh, inside our own. And I think a future you're going to see is a lot of small venues like the Food Lab, who usually exhibit in a smaller venue, uh, will come into a larger venue like Picon. And uh, the excitement is that those people get the both, best of both worlds. You're going to have a, a, a smaller conference with all the benefits of a larger conference. And uh, I think that's the future of what you'll see of Picon in the direction that we're going.